get ready to meet the stars. A Living Panda. Lee J. Dinks. Remy Quinzel Studios. An Onion. Lee. And your host, Tyler. On Comic Book Dating Game 2021. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Comic Book Dating Game. I'm 750 Daddies, your host. And uh, today, we're going to be bringing in not only the greatest man of all time, but he just hit 750 subscribers. Lee from Wack Comics. How you do? How you going, Lee? I'm I'm doing okay. I'm I'm here. I'm looking I'm looking for love again. Last time with Cole didn't work out too great. Uh, he stood me up on my date. We actually didn't even get to go on it. I'm a bit heartbroken. I'm I'm I want to find a better a better match today. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I can do we that. even fully paid for his flight to Australia, and he just skipped it. I oh. I can't believe he would do that, but. Uh, I do have this onion here today, too, to help me out in so many ways. So, here, let me put that back. Why don't you take a bite out of it real quick? Um, I'll do that in a little bit. But uh, well, right. first, let's let's meet our guests. First, we're going to bring in Mr. Lee J. Dinks. Lee J. Dinks, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're looking for? What's going on, guys? Thank you for having me. Uh, I enjoy long walks on the beach, playing with my pet dog, with my pet cat, just rubbing in their ashes, and I'm just looking for a good time, uh, preferably an Australian good time, if you know what I mean. Oh, wow. That's really ironic. Lee, you're from Australia, aren't you? I am. I, I'm from the land of Down Under. Wow, this could be love at first sight. Let's I, bring in our next guest, uh, Mr. Adrian Panda Awesome. Tell us a little bit about I, yourself and what you're looking for. I'm looking for a kind person, somebody that can really feel my soul. And really read me a good book at night. And then I can fall asleep. That was a little bit creepy, but what do you think, Lee? Uh, it sounds like a selfish lover, but let's see how it goes. Okay, okay. We'll see. And lastly, Remy Q Studio. Oh, wow! Remy Q Studio, tell I came us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> well, I was hoping uh, somebody could show me how to how to properly hold a boomerang down under. Oh, Ooh. wow. That's innuendos and stuff. Yeah. Lee, what do you think of that? I, I like that. I've got a boomerang, and I like to hold them. Okay, so we're going to get into our first question of the day, Lee. Why don't you go ahead and ask it? Okay, so for my first question, DJ Lynx, what comic book character would be your perfect date, and why? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, I would have to say the Joker would be the perfect date because he would be the opposite of Batman, and we know we all know Batman doesn't go down. So I would say the Joker. <laughs> okay, so he's referencing some stuff that happened in uh, a TV show. That's not a bad answer. Um, pa Panda, what's your answer to that same question? Do you want to ask it again, Lee? What comic book character would be your perfect date, and why? I really think uh, maybe Static Shock. I I think it would be just electrifying. And he's African American. So he uh, Panda went with the the race card, which is something <laughs> different. But you know, no one knows who Static Shock is, so that's all right. So Lee, you want to ask that one more time? And Remy, you can answer. What comic book character would be your perfect date, and why? Very cute. Uh, I would pick Superman, because he's hard to steal. I like that answer. It also seemed to be innuendo-filled. Mm -hmm. um, so, Lee, why don't you tell us, who do you think had the best answer to round number one? I think I'm gonna to have to go with Remy, uh, Remy Q on the, on this round one. I like I like some steel and I like harder steel, Superman. I, I feel like I feel like that was a good answer. Yeah, I do. I, I think everyone came with their A game. Obviously, everyone came in here fully prepared, and and they probably had some answers already set up. So, we're gonna go on to question number two, and we're gonna start off with Panda answering that one. So name ahead, something. Maybe. 
name something that you do to a comic book that you would do to me on a date. Pend. Fuck it. I, I feel like that's just a little bit promiscuous of Lee, but you know, some people like to fuck their comic books, and Mr. Panda is one of them. So let's, Remy Q, why don't you answer that same question? Go ahead, Lee. For me, uh, protecting my comics is number one, so I'd make sure you were bagged. Mm, I like that. More innuendos. We're full of innuendos today, except for Panda, who just wants to fuck his books. So now we're going to go on to DJ Lynx. Yeah, well, first of all, I go raw. <laughs> so I'll take you out of the bag and board, crack you wide open right to the middle, and just stick my face in it. That's how I roll. Oh, wow. So that was also when you went. So if Pan is the only one that just wants to get down and absolutely fuck his comic books, but everyone else just wants to have I'm fun. Straight and, forward. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. Straight but at least you know what you're getting with Panda. And the other two, you know what you're getting, but they're kind of like keeping some secrets. I don't know. We'll see. You so to. You have to. Lee, who do you think gave the best answer to round number two? Uh, round number two, I'm going to have to go with DJ Lynx because I like to be raw dogged every now and then. <laughs> okay. Bareback, bareback. Of course you like to be raw dogged every now and then. <laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> my wife is standing right here say hi lisa <laughs> so for uh we have one more question obviously before the final round as everyone knows go ahead lee and ask it we're going to direct this one this first one to remy q i like a comic book with a lot of action answering with a comic book title how much action would we see on our first date Q. Uh, I think nonstop Spider-Man would be the best description I could give. No, I like the innuendo of nonstop, except for the shitty comic book. So, I mean, you got pluses and minuses there to weigh. So, uh, we'll do now go to DJ Links. I would say Uncanny X-Men, because if you ask all of my X-Men, I'm Uncanny. Okay, um, no one knows what that means, but it was a good answer. So now we'll go on to Mr. Panda Awesome. Well, I'm going to have to say Garth Ennis' The Boys. Because it's not just going to be me in there. It's going to be me and all my boys! Nice! Look at that, so we get a, a whole orgy. Um, so Lee, wh what do you prefer? Do you prefer uh, nonstop Spider-Man? Do you prefer whatever DJ Link said, or do you prefer the boys? Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to give this one to Remy again for the oh, non-stop. Yeah. I feel like I said I like some action, and I want the action to be non-stop. And, and I don't care if it's his shitty book. If he can make it good, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Okay. So we now is, of course, as everyone knows, when we have to make our first cut. So we're going to start out. Who is going to the finals? Your first choice of going to the finals. And before we do that, I would like to give each guest one last chance to sell their love to go on this date with Mr. Lee. We're going to start out with uh, Lee J. Dinks. Well, all my friends call me Joey. That's my nickname. And you know Joey jumps in the pouch. I'm trying to be the Joey to your pouch, Lee. Stick That's a in. good good kangaroo reference, and Lee lives in Australia once again. Uh, Lee J. Dinks is all in on this Australia thing, so I hope you're down for it, Lee. I, I do. I love kangaroos. I've got one. We go bouncing all the time. I've been looking for someone to bounce with me. Nice. Good, and now we've got a living panda, so go ahead, panda. So... Let's go ahead, and I know I haven't won any points. I haven't won anybody over, but that's okay because I am part of what you call the Panda Pack. And once you're part of the Panda Pack, you're in it forever. We love you. We'll protect you. And then we'll fuck the shit out of you. And that's, that's just that's just the, the down, you know, down to it. That's just, that's what you get. So 
If anybody wants to be in the Panda Pack, make sure you go sub up on Panda Awesome 316 here on YouTube because we will love you forever. So Panda's doubling down on the fucking, and he's also all in on getting subscribers here. So make sure you, everyone subscribes to Andrew, Adrian Panda Awesome since he's about to get kicked out. So Remy Q Studios, why don't you go next? Well, you know I like uh, Daddy's toy chest, so I brought my cock gun. Oh, I thought you were about to eat it. Because <laughs> it was dangerously close to your mouth. All right, so Lee, why don't you pick your first one to go on to the finals? I think the first one is obvious. They've won, won two points already. They've got a cock gun. It's Remy. Remy, congratulations. You are going to the finals. So we <laughs> we have uh, between DJ Lynx and Adrian Panda Awesome. Who else will be joining you in the finals? I know this this one's a, a bit of a hard one. Uh, we've got one, on one hand, we've got someone that's been after my heart with all the Aussie shenanigans. And then there's been another one that just hasn't got a, a point yet and simply hasn't really impressed me too far. But he and, has talked about fucking a lot. But for that reason alone, I picked Panda to go through to the final round. Oh my god, an upset. Can you believe DJ Langs? How are you feeling about this? <sighs> so, okay, so we are into the finals, and we are down to Remy Q Studios and Underdog Living Panda Panda Awesome Three One Six here for the subs. So, Lee, why don't you ask the final question on who will be going on this comic book date with you? Okay. <clears throat> What physical feature in a comic book turns you on the most? And we'll start uh, with, you start with either one. I would like to hear Remy gear first. Um, physical feature that I'm most impressed with is the spine, um, especially the lower part. It's um, something that I don't want to damage too much, so I'm very careful with it, and I like to caress it very, very, very carefully lower spine kind of referencing the buttocks so uh, or or just that he likes someone with a good back but we don't know he didn't specify so we're gonna go on to panda panda what's your answer to that great question well i like to say the pages themselves because i get to run my fingers right through the pages kind of like how you run your fingers through somebody's hair could you show us that all right so we have here your super boy first appearance of king shark did you see it did you miss it here we'll go through it again we can do this all night wow Come he's right even using here. a first appearance right now i mean Maybe some bonus points, maybe not. Maybe you don't give a fuck about King Shark. So, Lee, why don't you tell us how you're feeling about each one, and then we'll go on to choose your comic book date. Uh, this is, i got to say, this has been the hardest one yet, 750 daddies. Uh, I, I honestly... Breakfast? I'm caught, and I'm caught at a crossroads. I'm caught, Ooh. You know? Um... I think both of them have done a really, really good job of selling, selling their love to me and what a, a date would look like with them. I think I really am going to need a second here to, to, to make up my mind. No problem at all. While we're waiting on this one second, uh, Remy Q, why don't you tell us one last time, just in one word, what best describes you in one word or less? Breakfast. Breakfast. There you go. Could be that you're staying over, getting breakfast in the morning. Could be that he just doesn't like lunch. Uh, Panda, one word or less. Delight. Delight. You know, most people would go with delightful, but he is just a delight. So that's good. Short and sweet to the point. No one knows what it means. Go ahead, Lee. You pick your final... Going um, on a date person. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but I think I've finally, I think I've got who I want to go on a date with. 
I'm, I'm going to pick Remy, Remy Q Studios, who, who, mainly because of their cock gun. I want to see that cock gun in real life. Congratulations, oh. Remy Q Studios. I'll you bring it. Full, full airfare to Australia to go on a date with Mr. Lee. How excited are you? I cannot wait. I am so excited. I can't wait to see pictures of this comic book day and see all the different books you guys read and all the things you do with this cock gun. Thank you, comic book gating day in 2021. Well, that was it for today. Uh, thank you, as always, to The Onion, and thank you to all of our guests for coming on to this amazing comic book dating game wait, show. Wait, take a bite of the...